Hello and welcome back to another edition of what I guess we're calling Polynerdic Pro Wrestling. Uh, this is not a Monday morning mayhem. We're going to call this one uh, Midday Masochism. Hmm, hold on, wait. Hello and welcome back to another edition of what I've guessed we've come to call Polynerdic Pro Wrestling. Unlike the last two weeks, this is not a Monday morning mayhem broadcast. But this is going to be called Midday Masochism. And if you don't get that joke, it's because it is hot outside already. But in order to live stream, I have to shut off the air conditioner. So we're going to do this broadcast, and I'm going to sweat my balls off uh, for the sake of entertainment. Uh, mostly for myself, I guess, since no one seems to be watching these other than me and the occasional live viewer while we do it. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Opening match today. It's going to be the never open weight title, the champion Tai Chi defending against Big Rick, formerly known as Ezekiel Jackson in the WWE. We're going to get into it. Big Rick became the number one contender here via a tournament I put together over the weekend and watched, obviously, not on live stream. So this is the opening match. Let's get into it. Uh, per the usual setup, I am also live streaming a... New Japan Pro Wrestling broadcast while I watch this, so forgive me if I get wrapped up in that while I watch this fantasy booking via Fire Pro Wrestling World. I'm interested in seeing how this match goes, because uh, Big Rick is a very slow, strong wrestler, and Tai Chi is a little quicker. I think at this point in time, they still consider Tai Chi a junior heavyweight. So it's... Uh, some may consider him an underdog in this fight. <laughs> Excuse me. Got myself a nice glass of ice water to help combat the heat. I'm hoping this doesn't go the full two hours. That previous broadcast have gone because it's going to get hot in here. Tai Chi is also the real life never open weight champion. I've yet to see him defend it though. Uh, New Japan does that thing. It's, it's uh, if you've never watched New Japan, it's they have a tendency to go a long time sometimes without uh, defending their titles. Like Chris Jericho won the IC title much much earlier in the year, six months ago thereabouts, and uh, hasn't defended it yet. Although he did make an appearance at the event I'm watching right now and uh, attacked the wrestler known as Evil. So maybe that'll be his next defense. Not gonna lie, I really wasn't looking forward to the Evil versus Zack Sabre Jr. on this card, the live card, the real card. Uh, Zack Sabre's a fantastic wrestler, but I often find his more ground-based offense to be kind of dull. It's not the most exciting stuff. Got a pretty interesting card set, though, in my opinion. Uh, most of the title matches were either decided by tournaments and whatnot over the last week, or battle royales, or in some cases they were taken directly from what's going on in the real world. Uh, the main event of this card will mirror the main event of King of Pro Wrestling, which is what the event I'm watching is. Do love me some New Japan. WWE also had their big show out of Australia this weekend. Watched it with my kids. Wasn't bad. Uh, I could have, honestly, even though I'm a huge Undertaker fan, I could have done without the Undertaker Triple H main event. I wish Undertaker had stayed retired. I feel like every match he's done since the WrestleMania where he left his coat and hat and everything in the ring. Every match I've seen him in since then has has a uh, I don't want to say ruined his legacy, but like it, it has definitely not helped. Big 
Rick Strong. Yeah. I guess this is a good point to. Oh shit. Damn. Tai Chi loses by knockout. Big Rick, the new never open weight champion. That's a surprise. Did not see that coming. I figured it would be a pinfall. All right. So that's that. First match down. I agree. That wasn't a very good match. That is why it was the opening match. Get it out of the way. I, I did not expect Big Rick to go all the way to the end of the tournament. I underestimated him. So. Big Rick's the new champ. Next match should be better. This next one should be much better. It's going to be for the junior heavyweight title. Currently held in the game by Kushida. And he's going to go up against... Marty Scroll. A match that I am currently watching in real time from last night's pay-per-view. Kushida versus Scroll for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. In real life, the title was vacant. Here in the game, Kushida owns the belt. Or is holding the belt, rather. So let's get into it. This match should be much more entertaining than the last one. At least that's my hope. Let's erase the uh, the taste of that squash match with something a little more competitive. Fight. One thing you'll find watching my broadcast here via Fire Pro, uh, New Japan in real life doesn't like a lot of multi-man matches. I happen to enjoy them, so we're going to see plenty of them. Both these guys are pretty, pretty solid entertainers in the real world. Sorry, I'm getting wrapped up in the drama of the real life stuff, not paying attention to the video game stuff. It's interesting looking at both of them, seeing the same, same two guys, relatively good recreations of both of them. Well, in the case of Scroll, he's a he's a creative wrestler. The Kushida model's pretty damn solid too. I would hope so, since it's what's in the game. as I was saying, New Japan doesn't do a lot of multi-man matches. In fact, the in real life, the main event of the King of Pro Wrestling card, Omega versus Rhodes versus, or sorry, Cody versus Ibushi is only the second time the IWGP title has been defended in three-way. I like multi-man matches myself. Uh, they, they get, uh, They get you a chance to get more people out there. There's a little more action. I like a good multi-man match. version of this match just ended. I now know who wins it. Let's see if it plays out the same here in the uh, video game.
get the feeling that you know this is about how long the first match went, and uh, this one's already been better. Give up. Give up. That big rig versus Tai Chi match uh, was not the the most competitive thing I've seen this game put out. Buster. I gotta go for the pin now. Look at these back and forth strike things. Gotta love a good super kick. I talk about it every time, I think. I love it, the super kick. Something absurd yet awesome about the suplex over the top rope that occurs so often in this game. viewers that just popped in uh, this broadcast is going to have moments of silence as I find myself wrapped up in uh, New Japan's broadcast from this weekend I'm trying to get caught up on it while I do this not that you all want to hear my commentary uh... oh shit life does not uh, imitate art or so to speak art does not limit, imitate life this match went the other way in, real, in the real world spoilers obviously I just watched this match end. That's not how it went at King of Pro Wrestling. All right. Well, Marty's the new champ. New junior heavyweight champion here. I'd give that match better than 58%. That's that's made a little harsh. All right, next one is a title of my own creation. We're gonna use one of the um, WWE's mixed match mixed match challenge teams here. We're gonna do. We'll do Blue Balor. We're sitting there alongside. Oh, she's right up top. Let's see if we have a Blue Bailey. We do. All right. Mixed tag's kind of a misnomer uh, since it's more intergender, but Fire Pro's title. 
system didn't fit inter intergender tag, so I couldn't do it. Elgin and Grace have been pretty much unstoppable as a team. So let's see if uh, Baylor and or, uh, Bailey and Balor can uh, unseat them. It's worth noting, as always, that none of these creations are my own. They're all ones I've downloaded off Fire Pro. So website Curious as to how this uh, Jay White Okada rift in uh, New Japan is going to play out. Those of you that follow, that watch this and follow New Japan. Looks strange seeing Gato standing with Jay White, not Okada. Given that old Mike didn't move there, I didn't think that was going to be a, a correct uh, actual pinfall. Wow. Yeah, we missed the elbow. I like this arena a whole lot. There's just something about it that just... It feels quaint. Barely the belly, and she'll go for the pin. with the enziguri on Bailey's head. Ah, 
I apologize. I missed the tag. I didn't see uh, Elgin tag in. That explains why Bailey didn't go for the pin. Selling the uh, Death Valley Driver. Or the Burning Hammer, really. Give up. Give up. Let's see if Elgin and Grace have it in them to hold on to their titles for the first, uh, to be the first champions on this card to yeah. not lose the belt. the face to break the hole. by Baylor. Uh, Baller. I can't pronounce his name, but he's in a team with Bailey. Dia! He's going to delay Brayden and have the suplex. Well, I suppose since this is sort of New Japan, I should call him uh, Prince instead of Finn. to plug the uh, New Japan too much more, but the uh, King of Pro Wrestling, Tanahashi versus Jay White, has been a pretty entertaining match over here on the left side of my screen. Makes it real hard to focus on this uh, Fire Pro match. See, Finn should have gone for the stomp there. She just taken the uh, Bailey to Belly suplex. Just stomped on her and won the match. Just taking it to Finn. Is it a stomp? No, nope, he's got a lost body. There's a very straight up clothesline, his ass down. Cut off his momentum for a moment. Code breaker. Don't believe I've ever seen Finn use that in real life. Or that, for that matter. So I'm going to put him down. Nope. 
winded. I do believe he had it though. We, let's see our third straight title change. That was awesome. Turned it easy off the top. Give up. Get in there and break Give it up, up Finn. Close to the corner. See a lot of. Yeah, there you go. Get in there and break it up. Fishermen's into a brain buster. Damn, that's impressive. I've only seen a couple of Jordan Grace matches in real life. They've, they've been they've been good. Oh, she's doing it again. Nice submission. Break it up, Finn. Take your time. A lung blower. Stabber, whatever you want to call it. Body again, too close to the corner. I love this game so much. Give up. Watching this game play itself is much more entertaining than anything with the 2K series that WWE puts out. Watching this is more fun than playing that. Watching this is more fun than watching that. The other thing it really has going for it is presentation and some of the character models. As long as I have short hair. Ah, took too long. was going to be Anna Bailey. That was a good match. Let's see if it did better than 60% since this, the game is judging things awfully harsh today. I was entertained by that. And for the first of three matches, the champions retained. There we go. Yeah, see, that's better. That's more like it. Elgin and Grace are unstoppable have not 
been unseated in a while. All right, we're gonna do the Intercontinental title now. And I'm gonna give Naito a shot at Great Muto. So IWGP Intercontinental Champion Great Muto against Tetsuya Naito. Muto's been another one who's been tough to unseat ever since he took it off Jericho. Times Muda missed Naito. Or jabs him in the head with a fork, because that happens a lot too. Good possibility Naito's gonna bleed in this match. Win or lose. to do some New Japan style round robin tournaments but they take forever if you uh, like if you do a 16 man two bracket you know uh, A bracket B bracket kind of thing it takes a long time to get through Tanahashi's crazy. Telling you, if you're a fan of professional wrestling, you gotta check out this uh, New Japan match with Jay White and Tanahashi. They're tearing it up. I guess it's Tanahashi, not Tanahashi. I know and Muto are doing good stuff here on the uh, video game. But Muto can't hit him with a chair. Surprise, he might. I've seen some more chairs out. in the ring guys there we go I got something other than a chair that's close 20 count almost has reached Maybe if I did a tournament, I'd set the time on it. But I fear that would be a, lead to a lot of draws. If I gave it like a 20 minute time limit per match. Because I did one to establish my first uh, junior heavyweight champion. And that took a lot of time. I think I ended up with like a four way draw. So those four guys had to do a second round robin tournament. Or league, as it's called in this game. Uh, 
He ended up being like Marty, Dragon Lee, Scroll, or Marty Scroll, Dragon Lee. And I forget who the other two are. But it, it, it was a. Uh, oh, Ishimori and the fourth. I can't remember who the fourth was. But it, it took the better part of a week. You know, playing it for an hour or two at a time to get through the whole damn thing. But given how many tournaments and stuff that New Japan does in real life, it just feels right to do one every once in a while. A road break. I had to be a road break. His feet were out. <laughs> His knees were hanging over the apron. I don't know what that was, but that was funny. Muda's AI broke. Get around to designing some sort of art for the mat. Or get something other than just the, the blank gray. I got missed it twice. Nice drop kick to the knee there. seen the fork yet, unless I missed it. But uh, Muda's definitely missed it him a couple times. Ah, so close. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pulling for Naito here. I like Muda a lot, but Naito's the man. him there so for the ropes and fucking Muda yeah. <laughs> that's twice he's oh man now he's biting him it's a good munching sound effect oh he's bleeding he got blood bit him open a hell of a way to get opened up Let's blame uh, Muda running into the turnbuckle on being an old man. His eyesight's going. Ah, oh, here comes the fork. God. Muda's putting Nida through hell. Bit his face. Missed at him. Stabbed him with the fork. Did get out of the way, Nido. Oh, 
Oh, not on what's not what you guys are saying, but what I'm saying. That was. New Japan's so good. It's, this card's been so much better than the show WWE did in Australia. And I consider myself a WWE fan. Get him right up. Right on the kendo stick. He pops right back. No selling it. That's one thing about this game. A little irritating. <laughs> People don't sell big moves. They pop right back up. But I guess that happens in uh, New Japan a lot too. chairs outside the ring. Pile driver on the floor. Oh, that's, that's vicious. Of course, Naito doesn't uh, sell it either. Uh, we're going to end in a count out, aren't we? We're going to end in a count out. Damn it, guys. Ah, oh, boo. Ah, oh, boo that shit. Oh, that was a hell of a, a crap ending to a, what was a pretty entertaining match. I smell a rematch coming. Rematch with no count outs. Tag team titles, junior heavyweight tag. <clears throat> Pentagon and Phoenix. I'm going to give them some legends to go against. Liger. And Tiger Mask. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Titles. Liger and Tiger versus the, uh, I guess they call them Lucha, Bro Lucha Bros. I think that's what they called them in Impact. Fight! Another one of those things inspired by this real life card where the opening match, Liger and Tiger went for the junior heavyweight tag belts. Of course, they weren't going against Pentagon and Phoenix, but I can't make it 100% accurate all the time. Good tiger mask. I wonder if the uh, upcoming DLC with the junior heavyweight story mode will add Liger and Tiger to it too. I'm looking forward to that. I want to see how many of the creator wrestler slots I can uninstall and give myself more space once that DLC hits. Thank you. 
I've seen plenty of uh, Tiger Mask and Jushin Liger, Jushin Thunder Liger matches over my time with New Japan. And in the case of Liger, you know, he's been everywhere. I have to admit, I don't think I've ever seen Phoenix wrestle in real life, and I've only seen one or two matches with Pentagon. But what I've seen, I've been impressed by. I really do want to see how the chaos schism in New Japan plays out. A bunch of the chaos guys going online with Jay White. Are they going to stay with Okada? Is, you know, it's just going to be Jay White and Gato off on their own. Of course, none of that makes any sense if you don't watch New Japan. I do believe that means he stole his finisher. That's interesting what just happened. I think I might have just got my answer about what's going on. Why, forgive me again, I'm engrossed in what's happening on the uh, in the real world. The real world of professional wrestling, I guess. No! 
Okay, that answers my question about chaos. Jay White, Gato and Jado have left Chaos and are part of the Bullet Club OG now with the, the Tongas. The Tongan, uh, that's, that's crazy. I'm going to have to tweak my uh, factions on this game if that's in fact what happened. like the legends just lost Pentagon got the the victory there All right All right, we're going to back out of this mode here in order to get the next match set up Gonna do a little hardcore title action here. Masato Tanaka is still my champ. Means we gotta change arenas for this one match here. <sighs> do the bloodstained ring because it's the one that makes the most sense. I suppose I should give him a challenger, huh? We're gonna do. Go to my ECW stable. We're going to give old Tommy Dreamer a shot at the, uh, at the title here. So the hardcore title, Dreamer versus Tanaka. Landwire, or Landwire, Landmine Deathmatch. Tear it up here. See if Tommy Dreamer can take the belt off Tanaka. He's been unbeatable too. <laughs> Kenny versus Cody versus Coda. It's gonna be a hell of a match. It will also be our main event here, for what it's worth. But we're only about halfway done. So the Bullet Club OG just grew. They all but confirmed that in commentary. I'm gonna have to uh, adjust my factions here. I 
I did not expect Jay White and Gato and Jado, of course, to, to join the Bullet Club OG faction. Especially considering Jay White turned down that uh, membership back in, what, January? Guess he didn't want to be part of Kenny Omega's Bullet Club. That's going to lead to some good matches. This mat so damn excessive. It's like a murder happened in the damn ring. Shit myself if Cody wins this main event in, in real life. Be the NWA champion, the US heavyweight champion, and the IWGP heavyweight champion, or world champ. That's a weird move to give up to. An abdominal claw. I forgot to put weapons in the ring again, but. Maybe the elbow. Pretty sure that's his finisher. At least it was in real life. other one was. So that they answered my question on the broadcast. The IWGP title's only been defended three times in a three-way dance. And the first one in Japan was uh, 13 years ago to the day. I don't know who was in that match, but they answered that question for me. Been looking forward to this one all, all week. East in this game. Damn. Triple headbutts. Put him down. I don't know if anyone's going to unseat him. Didn't expect that to be over that quick. Uh, 
All right. Back to the other match, other match type. Normal match. Ruki Goto, IWGP United States Champion, gonna go up against a man who earned this shot via Battle Royale. Gotta find him. There we are. There we go. Kevin Owens versus Hiroki Goto, United States Heavyweight Championship. Pretty decent Kevin Owens. From certain angles. Sometimes his face looks a little weird. I think these guys wrestling in real life would be uh, a lot of fun. It'd be a good match. Owens and Goto. That's why I do this. I, I, I just like making matches. For the most part, I like making matches that uh, that are just like my sort of dream matches. You know, sometimes we end up with luck of the draw not playing out that way. Like, I'm, I had no desire to watch Big Rick wrestle Tai Chi for that never open weight belt. I wish my card was further along. I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to compare the game to the, the actual real life match that's going on. This Cody, Kenny, Ibushi match. I'm gonna say, if he pinned him that quick, I'd be shocked.
starting to get warm in here. This is the start of the broadcast. Got the air off to do this. go to in real life. Put on a hell of a show. Jay White is not a Canadian. I was this a New Zealander. I was gonna make him from Canada for some reason. Super kick. I think it's fitting if uh, Owens wins the U.S. title since he spent so much last year as the uh, face of America in the WWE. Oh, he used his move. Without the big graphic on the screen happening. Kevin Owens liking that super kick. Owens might win this. Seems to be up. Ah, nope. Yeah. Goro gonna GTR. Nope. but it looks like well, as soon as I start to talk as soon as I start to assume I think I know what's going on it hit a false splash so last time Owens won with that GTR knocked him out holy shit Jodo with the GTR that's two knockouts this card All right.
right, six man tag time. I give that, yeah, 100%. That was a good match. I enjoyed that one. In fact, I found myself watching that more than the, uh, the three-way over here on this other screen. Yeah, see, no, Dodo has not been unseated yet. All right, so it's time for the six man. Never open weight six man tag. Got the shield over there. We're gonna give the ECW contingent another shot here. Actually, no, they're separate. Get the uh, get the Dudleys in here. Let's get which version of them we got here. Bubba, and then Devon. And then old little Spike, who for whatever reason is not in English. Oh cool, we get the old school version of him. That's a nice touch. There we go. Dudley's versus the Shield for the never open weight six man tag. Let's see how this goes. Shield's been unbeatable since they won the belt, so. But they can unseat the uh, the shield. member missed the tag I was checking to see if uh, Robbie Eagles was available on the uh, fire pro website to download apparently he joined the bullet club o OGs this weekend as well Spike. Poor Spike. Funny, Dean's wearing a LIJ shirt. It looks like the uh, whoever created him decided that was the closest to the the uh, Dean Ambrose shirt.
That's a hell of a spot that just happened. Wish you were watching with me so you could see what I was watching. That was good stuff. Kenny Omega telling the announcers to move, and they're like, what do you mean move? freely admit the the match that's going on on my laptop is much more entertaining than the match that's going on on my TV. But we'll get there. The match on my laptop is included as part of the uh, is the main event of this card that I put together as well. So. That'll take care of it. And at least, I mean, it wouldn't. The old days. Nowadays, if it happened to him, he'd probably, uh, he'd kick out at one. And you gotta protect Roman. Three on Rollins. Rollins and Omega would be a match I'd like to see. I have to put that together at some point. <laughs> Apparently Rollins tripped on that clothesline attempt. Did it again. He just can't nail it. That clumsy Seth. Super kick. Standing shooting star. That's good. Too close to the corner, though. I'll take it again. Spike taking it to Roman. What'd I say? He kicked out at one. Roman with the elbow drop off the top. Something broke the move there. Did you see that? That was that's not how that move's supposed to work. Sure, who's legal anymore? 
Bubba and Roman, I guess. Holy shit, when did Cody Rhodes learn how to do a Canadian Destroyer? I know you're not watching this, those of you that are seeing this later on, or live. That's what happens when you're color guys watching another program. Damn, spiked him. Cody Rhodes has learned a lot of shit since he left WWE. No sell on the super kick. Oh shit. Pedigree. Pedigree on spike. Yeah, get in there, break that up. <laughs> spike bouncing off. Or, uh, Roman bouncing off spike is good. not how the 3D works, but okay. Devon's the one supposed to pick him up, man. Spike didn't give enough height. Champs. New champs. Devon critted Rollins. That just frees up some shield members for some singles titles. Fantastic. They've been unbeatable all this time. This has been the night of criticals, though. I've seen more crits tonight than I have at any other moment. I gotta annotate this real quick. And then we'll get to the next match. Alright. Next one's a big one. Next one's a big one. There we go. New champs, Dudley boys. Okay, so. Got to go to the different match type for this one, because this is going to have a sensational six-way here. Which means Battle Royale is going to be used. Well, let's do an elimination style. Let's make it a little more interesting. Do an elimination style. For the women's title. See if we can get this title off Mandy Leone. No offense to Mandy, but she's been unbeatable in one-on-one -on -one matches. She actually won a uh, multi-person match. So let's see. Let's add Mickey James. Let's see what versions of Mickey we got here. Mickey... And, oops, and Becky, see what versions of Becky we have here. If 
with the fire one one singlet thingy and put Sarah Logan in it she needs more uh, finishers and signatures but oh well let's even it out let's put Put a couple women over here too. Nikki Cross. She lost the in the three-way on the last card. And then Alexa Bliss. Let's put her in here. So we got Mickey James, Becky Lynch, Sarah Logan, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, all going after. The woman's title held by Mandy Leon. Elimination style, last woman standing. Hi. All right, here we go. Forgot to change the match or the mat type here. I have to quit this. We have to do this again with the right uh, arena and all that. Well, I don't think we changed the arena. I think we're stuck in this arena. We might be. We're not, no, we're not. Here we go. Let's change this. Continuity is important. All right, you know the spiel. You know who's in the match. Let's go. <laughs> We're getting near the end here. We got this match and two more. That's better. Fight. Everybody focus on Mandy. Let's get Mandy out of here. Also a match I'd pay to see. A lot, a lot of quality uh, female wrestlers here. Uh, good performers. I, th I think Sarah Logan's underutilized. Mandy Leon might be the actual worst of all of them. And she's still pretty good. Watched some great matches with her from Ring of Honor. Of course, we know Becky and Alexa are good. Mickey's a legend. Nikki's kind of underutilized too. Fantastic.
little overstimulated here trying to follow this six woman match and the, the three way from New Japan. Man, Abushi just laid into Omega. And, whoa. Omega's back's bleeding. Sarah Logan is laying into Becky. I'm gonna be shocked if Mandy walks out of this. Good we. Whoever added that in, whoever found that just, and uh, made it a part of the, their Nikki Cross creation is perfect. Sounds just like her. Just to eliminate Alexa. This match is insane. I hope the uh, the video game version that's two matches from now is going to be half as good. Man, Mandy Leon laying out Becky. Put the disarmor on Nikki. See Nikki Cross and Becky Lynch go out. I bet that'd be a fun match. Shit, yeah, there goes Alexa. First eliminated by Mandy Leone. Sir 
Brad Logan just got eliminated. I didn't see what happened, but... The two women down. People can get ridiculous things in New Japan. show. Come on, Pinner, Nikki. Pinner, get us a new champ. One slap some slap a hold on her or something. Ah shit, there goes Becky. Looking like Mandy's gonna survive five challenges. I'm just gonna keep upping the up in the stakes. Give her six challengers and then seven. Do a full on battle royale. Put her down. Damn it, Mickey. Mickey, you broke up a finisher. Yeah, take her out. That's knee strike. The roll in a uh, neck breaker. Mandy Rose with the leg drop. Oh, the drop. We're just laying it to Nikki. Sort of a shining lizard. It's gotta be Mandy's finisher because she uses it a lot. The pump handle slam. All right, Nikki, put, put her down. Everybody else is gone. Again, nothing against Mandy, but she just seems unstoppable. See the belt on the new lady. Give up. Give up. Give up. Come on, Nicky. Kick, is that gonna be it? She gonna finish her with a super kick? Shit. Mandy again, man. She just holding on to that belt. 26 minutes even. Did not. Did. Did not expect that. I figured giving her five women to wrestle against would take the belt off of her.
but Mandy Loan being the surprising contender. So back to the main menu. You know what? I didn't even put the title on the line. I just realized. So that doesn't even count as a title defense. Crap. Well, let's just pretend <laughs> that it was. Oh, good lord. You know what? I messed it up when I changed from one battle royale to another. Damn it. Well, I suppose it's a good Mandy Leon won then, because if someone else had won and the title didn't change hands, I would have been upset. All right, Killer Elite Squad, Davy Boy Smith Jr. and Lance Archer. Gonna go against Great Bash Heel team of Giant Bernard, also known as uh, Albert or uh, Tensai, if you uh, are only a WWE fan. I'm gonna give him a second. Let's give him a second. Let's send out Togi Makabe as a second. Tyson Tomko is his partner. So we got black and white. All right, everything's correct now. IWGP Tag Team Title, Killer Elite Squad. Versus the Great Bash Heel team of Giant Bernard and Tyson Tomko with their leader, Togi Makabe. Got this match and one more. Kind of a filler match, I will admit that. Yeah. Coming down off that excellent non-title title match that I just botched. Yeah. Give up. Yeah. I panned over to the second. I wonder what he's supposed to do. A magic killer? Everybody does the magic killer, it seems. Yeah. On the clothesline. Choke slam suplex. Suplex. I find it weird that New Japan is talking so much about the Wrestle Kingdom show. That's January 4th. That's two months away.
weird lines on Tomko's back. Looks like he's got the back tape going, like Cesaro does on his shoulder. Give up. That's that. Now this has my undivided attention. Since the New Japan show is over. Pretty decent creation of a uh, little Albert there. Especially when he's got his back shaved. No wrestling game ever seems to get right. I was watching yeah. Pulse play uh, the showcase mode in the new 2K game, and there's a lot of times when the strong strikes were missing. Choice, Dave Boy. It's a decent Tomco, too. It's hard to believe a time back in the day he was Dave Batista's tag team partner. Stand there, watch it, guys. Not gonna, not gonna try to break it up for your partner. Kill Lee Squad's another uh, team that's been pretty damn unbeatable on this game. Yeah. I think they're the original champs too. Are doing a decent job of filling his purposes. A little bit of downtime before we get to the main event. It's a good pile driver animation. Tearing it up. Took his time there. Oh, 
what his uh, title history in New Japan is. Check that out while he slowly makes his way across the ring. He's just got no sense of urgency when it comes to breaking stuff up. Let's look at his time in New Japan. Let's see what we got. We're going to tap. Mike. Robert TNA X Factor, we know all about that. Uh, looks like while he was in New Japan, he challenged for the IWGP heavyweight title a couple times. Losing to Lesnar and then losing to Tanahashi in a tournament for the vacated title after Lesnar vacated it. Oh shit. I've never seen Tomko do that move in my life. That I've seen him do. We've also seen Bernard do that earlier. Disappointed that that Naito Muda match went to count out. The old big boot exchange. faster than Tom Kelly almost caught up to him. Yeah. Tom Kelly's going to tap here, I bet. Yep. Called it. He's been locked in it too often. squad wins again and I think 84% might be a little generous on that match I think it's a uh, be a little generous as we get later into the card all right one more main event time See if uh, Kenny Omega can uh, defend against two challengers here. Can't 
delete all those here. Yeah, New Japan. I'm gonna go up against his buddy, his tag team partner, Kakoto Ibushi. And stablemate, Cody Rhodes. We got a, a brunette Cody here. Yeah, we got a brunette one there. Ah, we'll go with the, we'll go with the white tights. I happen to prefer blonde Cody. I think he he looks cooler with the, the bleach blonde hair than he does with his normal look. Makes him more look look more like a Rhodes. But here we go. Up. Get the right map venue and referee. Got a title match. All right, we're not repeating the mistake of the the last battle royale. So we get the three way first fall to the finish. Ibushi versus Rhodes versus Omega. Real life, just watched it happen. Omega walked out of here with his belt. Let's see if he can do the same in the game. And then I can turn the air conditioner on for a little bit and end this uh, midday masochism, as I called it. I'm not sure what we are, where we are for time. Pushing the two hours. If they haven't exceeded it. This is our main event. Even a minute in, and they've already double teamed Cody with the golden trigger. Looks like Cody missing a tip of the roll up there. New Japan amuses me because they, uh, in this match in real life, there's a moment where Ibushi has the match won, he's spinning Cody. And Omega grabs the ref's hand, stops him from slapping the map for three. It should be disqualification. At least it would be in most American promotions. But I guess you can go with no DQ in a triple threat situation. This is a funny spot. Of course, uh, Cody is a created wrestler. I forget who I downloaded him from. He's like the fourth Cody I've downloaded. But I can find him better ones. Kenny and Coda, they're both, uh, they both come with the game. When you buy it on PlayStation. So they're, they're no one's creations. Both men are down, briefly. Kenny and Coda playing tug of war with Cody's body. AI struggles with odd man matches. Did you see a lot of that? You see a lot of moves broken up. A lot of Irish whips that go nowhere. What with the ankle lock? They're doing a gold trigger. Trigger! 
The AI really does seem to struggle with odd person matches. Like, a lot of people walking around doing nothing. Man, Cody really likes that move. Shocked if this one doesn't get a hundred percent value evaluation by the end of it. We'll admit the uh, match in real life definitely lived up to its uh, potential. Cody and Code have had some hellacious matches too. That's the first. New Japan match that I ever saw was them at uh, this year's Wrestle Kingdom. Of course, Coda was also impressive in last year's, or year before. Was it a year before now? The Cruiserweight Classic. Whenever the hell WWE did that, Coda had some great matches in there too. Jump on him, break it up, Kota. That would have been a really sad way for that match to end. Snapdragon, that's pretty cool. Kind of Snapdragon him onto Cody. rub their elbow in your ear like that would suck. Oh shit. One winged angel. True to form. I think Code is the only one who's ever kicked out of that move in her life. Real air quotes wrestling. Oh shit! That is not what happened in real life. That is that's crazy. I bet this match doesn't get a hundred percent evaluation right now. We've got a new champ. Oops. I accidentally closed the uh, folder <laughs> instead of. Yep, didn't get the uh, didn't, didn't get that hundred percent. But we got a new champ. Much like he's the NWA World Heavyweight Champ and the United States Heavyweight Champion here in New Japan and real in the uh, real world, that's not at all how it played out in real life. I did not expect that, but uh, apparently the game broke. We broke the game <laughs> with the title change. Well, let's go do it. That's it for the uh, today's stream of Fire Pro Wrestling World. That, that's fun times. Could take some time, figure out a new card, come back in the next week or so with more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.